The Mississippi State University XV-11A Marvel was an experimental American short takeoff and landing research aircraft developed in the 1960s. It was the result of a long-running research program by the Department of Astrophysics and Aerospace Engineering at Mississippi State University, which had been studying boundary layer control for the United States Army and Navy since the early 1950s. Initial experiments were carried out on modified aircraft, including a Schweitzer TG-3 glider, a Piper L-21, and a Cessna O-1. Based on these studies, the Army commissioned the university to design a dedicated short takeoff and landing test platform. The Marvel was a shoulder-winged monoplane powered by a single Allison 63 turboprop driving a pusher ducted propeller. It became the first all-composite aircraft, built almost entirely of fiberglass with steel reinforcements. Its boundary layer control system was highly advanced for its time. A blower driven by the engine drew air through over a million microscopic holes in the wings and fuselage, increasing lift. Instead of conventional flaps, it used a wing warping system to change camber. The landing gear followed a panto base configuration with sprung wooden pontoons designed for operation on rough terrain or water. The aircraft's wing and ducted propeller were first tested on the piston-engined XAZ-1 Marvelette. The full-sized Marvel made its maiden flight on December 1, 1965. By 1969, it had completed a 100-hour test program for the Army, demonstrating impressive short takeoff and landing capability, including takeoffs within 125 feet, 38 meters. However, the boundary layer system was less effective than hoped, and the aircraft was stored after the trials. In 1982, it was rebuilt as the Marvel II, with a more powerful 420-horsepower engine and longer-span wings. It was tested in Saudi Arabia as a utility aircraft concept, but proved underpowered and unsuitable for desert sand operations. Returned to Mississippi, it later served as a promotional and historical display. The Marvel appeared at the 2000 EAA Air Venture Air Show and in 2004 was donated to the Southern Museum of Flight in Birmingham, Alabama, where it remains preserved. The XV-11 Marvel stands as a pioneering effort in composite construction, advanced aerodynamics, and short takeoff and landing experimentation, offering valuable data despite its limited operational use.